Mark. Fort Meade Garrison Command Sergeant Major Brian Cullen giving last minute instructions at last night's Welcome Home Vietnam Veterans Day celebration hosted by the Hospice of the Chesapeake. The honor salute drew volunteers from around the National Capital Region, including midshipmen from Annapolis to Marines from 8th and I to Meade High School Junior ROTC cadets. More on the celebration in next week's edition of The Sound Off. Meanwhile, welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Fort Meade welcomes the Second Lady and the Army Surgeon General. A look at this year's Earth Day celebration, plus a hot new rental item from Outdoor Rec. These stories and more, but first, as we wrap up Women's History Month, Fort Meade received visits from two very high-profile women recently. First, Mrs. Karen Pence, the wife of the Vice President and the Second Lady of the United States, sat down to lunch with a couple of dozen service members from the Fort Meade community and from all branches of service. This was uh, very enjoyable. Uh, I think one of the reasons we wanted to come to Fort Meade is because all five branches are represented here. And we had women from all five branches at the lunch today and I was able to hear from each branch uh, some of the reasons they went into the military and some of the things they like about the military and uh, some of the changes they've seen, good changes, and it, it, was, uh, it was really enjoyable. For me, I think my role is one of encouragement. It's one of gratitude uh, to get a chance today to shake 20 women's hands and say, I'm so grateful for what you're doing for our country. I'm so grateful you've made the sacrifice and that you made this choice. In other news, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center hosted a visit from Lieutenant General Nadja West, the 44th Surgeon General of the United States Army and Commanding General of the United States Army Medical Command. So my objectives for being here today at Fort Meade is to visit our, our great Army Medicine team that we have here. Um, just to see if there are any concerns they have or things that I can help them with at the MedCom headquarters and just to um, be able to go around and talk to the staff uh, a little bit about our mission, vision, how we support our Army's requirements and, and vision and mission and also how we support the Joint Force. It is Women's History Month so even though she's reluctant to call herself a trailblazer, we asked her for some advice for young women just starting their own careers. You make sure they don't settle for anything less than what they're capable of doing. Um, work hard, uh, take advantage of all opportunities, and make sure you prepare yourself for any opportunities that may come your way. As March and Women's History Month comes to a close, April ushers in Sexual Assault and Abuse Prevention Month. The Fort Meade Sexual Harassment and Assault Response and Prevention, or SHARP, program has coordinated a full slate of events for the month. Garrison Commander Colonel Tom Rickard will sign the annual proclamation on April 3rd. On April 6th, the McGill Training Center is hosting a seminar on healthy masculinity. The next day, the Lanes and the 704th Military Intelligence Brigade are hosting Strike Out Sexual Assault. The 902nd is sponsoring Lapa Loop at Mullins Track on April 11th. Kimbrough is organizing this year's Sharp Motorcycle Ride on the 21st. The annual Victim Advocate Appreciation Luncheon is on the 25th. Join Kimbrough for a Denim Day Walk around Burba Park on the 26th. And Dr. Jim Hopper, a clinical psychologist and nationally recognized expert on psychological trauma, speaks on the 26th. And finally, on the 27th, it's The Amazing Race, the Sharp Edition at McLaughlin Parade Field. Stay tuned to Midweek for coverage throughout the month. Elsewhere, Earth Day 2017 is coming up. We'll have a quick preview in just a moment. But first, Fort Meade's Director of Public Works Environmental Division is getting things started early with a recycling contest for garrison units. Contractors will tally how much the garrison is recycling from April 3rd through the 14th, and the winning building will be announced on Earth Day. In the meantime, looking at this year's event, more than 50 exhibits are scheduled to be on display. There are also more contests. The elementary schools are holding their annual Earth Day design competition. They'll be designing an Earth Day logo for grocery bags. Stay tuned for an announcement on a carpooling competition on Earth Day. And if that isn't enough, the Civilian Welfare Fund and Corvius Military Housing are providing lunch. This year's Earth Day celebration is April 20th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Fort Meade Pavilion. In a related story, you want to preserve the environment so we can go to Outdoor Rec and rent one of these. MWR's older pop-up campers are being replaced with a type of camping unit that's gaining in popularity. They were to go in place of some of our older pop-up ones we just uh, turned in for this more wear and tear items. So we have some replacement ones and try to keep up with the times and what's going on that much more popular out there. The four new campers come in two different styles. The larger ones come with a queen-size mattress, air conditioning, and a full pop-up kitchen. Orchid says the campers were actually purchased last fall, but there wasn't a big call for them during the winter. He says that's changing. We did put a little bit of advertisement out um, that they were coming, and people were really excited to see them come in. So they, people are starting to reserve them pretty quick right now. For everyone at MeTV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week.